questions from people about driving your animals from behind. So I'll show you how you can actually start training that. It really doesn't matter how big they are, but these guys are four months old, so they're kind of small. And it's always a good idea actually to start when they're this age, but you, you can't jump too far ahead. You have to have the fundamentals down. So they've got to be handy with, um, with voice commands. They have to do what you want them to do for the most part. So that's the most important thing. And also where you drive them and having a reliance on voice command makes a big difference if you want to drive from behind. It's always a good idea to drive from the left shoulder on your near steer or your near bull for, or be slightly behind the shoulder because that way you're not in front of them all the time because if they see you all the time, they will take where you are and where you move as a visual cue. If you drive from the front and they follow you, follow you to the right if you turn right or follow you to the left or if they stop when you stop, then what you're training them to do is actually use where you are as a command input, which makes it difficult to be flexible with where you are. So long and short of it is a fence can be your best training aid. Um, if you want to start working them from behind, you can really just kind of slowly move your way back as you're walking them. But if you put your near animal against the fence, give them the command to come up, especially when they're small, and then you can kind of prod them along but also having a long whip and a lash or even a buggy whip the store bought will, will be helpful for that too because then you can spin it in front of their faces so if i wanted them to come up from behind that's the most difficult thing for them to do initially because especially if your near steer or bull is watching for you they're going to want to turn to the left all the time so you've got to keep on your near animal your off animal usually isn't a problem so if we tell them to come up come up boys come up come up Come up, come up, come up, paw, come up, come up, ho, ho. Okay, a few steps at a time, and they actually veered right a little bit, which, which was fine, but sometimes you'll see them veer left if they're looking for you. If they're constantly veering right, walk them up against the fence on that side. If they're constantly veering left, walk them on this side, or do it in an alleyway or something in a barn, that's helpful too. Once they come up and they start walking straight, then you can worry about, uh, or work on turns. But the fundamental is making sure that they come up from behind, when you're behind them, and you just kind of have to prod them along. Come up, boys. Come up, boys. Come up. 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 Ho! 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 Paw. 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 Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Ho! Oh, good boys. So a little bit at a time and then worry about the turns after and you can get very proficient, turn them, drive from the car, drive from a plow. But the key thing is going back to the fundamentals. If they don't understand what you're telling them and, and use the uh, use your voice as a command input, we have an imposter, uh, then they're not going to be proficient at it. So um, that's basically how you start and then just keep practicing from there.